right, so let's continue with this collection. Uh, we've talked about speed and velocity. We're now going to talk about um, the idea of average versus instantaneous because we need to know what those mean with respect to speed and velocity, but uh, also just in general what they mean. Remember, you need three bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do the follow-up questions. So if we're talking about instantaneous, something that is instantaneous happens immediately. So at that exact moment, if you think about a snap, that's usually our way of communicating that something is happening right now. Um, and that's usually kind of what instantaneous refers to. So in physics, instantaneous velocity is the velocity at that exact moment in time, meaning it's not over a period of time. It's not like over a stretch of one second or five seconds. It's the speed at that exact moment. Uh, and so nothing more, nothing less in that sense. In contrast, average is going to be the kind of general velocity, give or take a little bit over a period of time, meaning you can go a little bit faster, you can go a little bit slower at some points, but if you kind of lump it all together and average it out, then your approximate velocity for the trip was whatever the value is. So if we imagine a car going from one place to another in this case, there'll be times where they slow down, there'll be times where they speed up, but their average velocity might be 60 miles an hour. Now, it doesn't mean that they didn't go 80 on the freeway at some point and then come to a stop sign and be zero, um, but that kind of gives you the overall speed for that trip. One way to kind of differentiate between the two is if you can remember what instantaneous is. Basically, if it's not instantaneous, then it's probably an average speed or velocity. Uh, and usually, we're going to be working with averages whether you realize it or not. Average velocity, basically it's based on the same equation. Uh, if we go into instantaneous velocity, it has to be kind of derived in a way uh, and use a different formula. Um, that's because if we look at our equation, we have displacement divided by time. The time is basically means it has a period of time where this is happening over. By definition, that makes it an average velocity. So just to review, instantaneous is at a single moment versus velocity is over a period of time. Uh, instantaneous must be determined theoretically or approximated. What that means if we go back to our equation, as this time gets really, really, really small, we can begin to say that that's basically the instantaneous velocity as opposed to um, being a bigger period of time where you have to say it's an average. Uh, the average velocity can be determined from measurements, so kind of like how we normally do. Uh, an example of seeing instantaneous is basically speedometer, gives you a general sense, versus calculating your average velocity using distance over time. So if you went 400 miles in 4 hours, you'd know your average velocity was 400 miles per hour, or sorry, 100 miles per hour. So that would be an example of where average comes into play. That's it for this micro lecture. Remember three bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary, and you need to do the follow-up questions on Google Forms.